Let's talk about the sensory process of mapping. We're sensing all the time we're talking, we're sensing using eyes, ears, taste, smell, touch and so on. Uh, also a sense of where our boundaries lie, what's within our body, where, what's inside our skin, what's outside, and it is sensed. And we're trying when the conversation is assisted by mapping to open up this sensory experience. It takes me back, in, it, may, it makes me think having observed really young children is that in the first month's year of life, the child hears something and uh, the eyes turn to look in the direction of what is being heard or the child touches something and it makes a noise and the eyes and the ears and the touch and even the taste putting it to its mouth these are moments of sensory integration the senses working together to create in one way the first sense of self i know myself by the way i'm orchestrating my sensory interaction with the world and this is always happening as we're talking although of course because of anxiety or because of grandiosity or because of many things uh, we're talking wording uh, let's put here voicing um, things are uh, said saying and talking and voicing and wording and things are said you might even say they're uttered but there is something about having a sense an open sense of how the experience of giving words of saying things is, um, is taken in is held and touched and for me the business of mapping and talking is about creating a space for what I like to call constructive dithering. There's an enormous pressure for us to sort out what we're saying, to get the words right and not to dither or fumble or say the wrong thing, but for a really open dialogue, for things to be seen out in the open, we need to be able to um, be able to be present with all our senses. And this involves noticing how we're feeling about what we're saying and having an open interchange between the saying and the sensing. And as it's noticed, one of the markers of noticing is naming. What are the words we find for the process of noticing and noticed and once we've named things we can begin to negotiate and indeed we may in our negotiating change the naming which in turn changes what's noticed and affects how we do the noticing like many other things in this mapping and talking process it's a dynamic interactive process but we are if you like present with our senses when we're engaged with words, we are saying as we are sensing and sensing as we are saying.